Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna. As you all know, today, as you can probably tell, my setup is a little bit different, and that is because I am redoing my room, like I said in my last video, and so I thought I would film this video for you guys, even though I'm still in the process of redoing it. All my books are up there, because they've not been sorted through, and I'm going to get a bookshelf on that wall, it's going to be great, and... Can we just like talk about this phone case for a second though? Today I'm going to be doing the inside out book tag created by Christina Horner. I was tagged by Courtney Reeves and I love both of their tags so much I will be leaving their videos to it in the description below. The movie Inside Out that was Disney's new movie that just got released. There are five characters in it. Anger, disgust, sadness, joy, and something else? I don't know. I forget, I still haven't seen this movie. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First question is, what book brings you the most joy? And for that, I chose Harry Potter series, or Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, because this was the first book that truly got me attached to books. I read it in the third grade, and I am now in ninth grade, and it just started off everything. Like, I would never have found reading or loved reading if it weren't for Harry Potter. And it's just such a great, like, a great series. Like, nothing would have happened. I wouldn't be here talking to you guys right now if it weren't for Harry Potter. So just thinking about this book and knowing it and everything, it just makes me happy. And that's why I chose it for joy. The second question is, what book grossed you out or disgusted you the most? And for that, I chose The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummins. And not because I was grossed out by all the violence and things, but because whenever... I like read or see someone in pain I can always feel it and considering this book is titled the murder complex there was a lot of murder and things going on so I could just kind of feel it and like if someone got stabbed I could kind of like it just ugh, it was weird so it just kind of disgusted me in a way but I love it like I have the second book on my shelf right now that I'm about to start reading and I love it Th these books are amazing but every time someone died, it just kind of was... <sighs> so, that happened. Third question is, what book scares you the most? And for that, I choose Endgame by James Frey. Not because it was scary or anything, but because it was so suspenseful throughout the whole book. I just found myself scared for all of the characters. Like, it was just a game of death and things. And I was just terrified for them. Like, it's so suspenseful on every single page. And after a while, I was just like, mm -mm. My favorite character was Sarah, but I was terrified for her the whole time. And everyone, like, everyone I was just terrified for because it's so suspenseful. So it just, just ended up being terrifying. And the fourth question is, what book made you cry the hardest? And for that... I actually choose The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. Yes, it is so cliche of me to do that, but it was one of the first books I read that truly made me cry. Like, there are books that I cried in, but this, when someone died, just in case you haven't read it already, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but when someone died in it, it was just, it just wasn't good. It was not good at all, guys. It was horrid. I was crying. I was just getting off an airplane and I was like okay you can't cry Anna you cannot cry if you're in an airport if you're gonna look insane don't cry and I cried <laughs> and it was bad it was really bad guys and last question is what book angered you the most and I choose reboot by Amy Tintira I actually love the series it's one of my favorite series but Callum angers me to all and he is such a baby when it comes to thing and I feel like if you are a reboot even though your number was really small you need to be braver and he just wasn't and he relied on Ren for everything and I couldn't do that I just if you have to be substantial for yourself and Callum was not substantial for himself and I just felt like he needed to be braver and stronger and better as a person because you can't rely on other people for you. Like, I don't know, I just, it angers me. I can't speak properly because he's just... 
that is the end of my inside out book tag i tag all of you guys because you all deserve to do it if you want to do it i'm not going to stop you from doing it just do it no one should be excluded so how about that and so i'm sorry that i'm talking really really fast i'm just really hyped today and um yeah so i'll see you next week bye guys watch well, this not have been filming the whole time <laughs>